What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Happy Monday and welcome back to another Street Fighter Duel video. Alright guys, this one is something that I should have done a long time ago, but I specifically waited until Akuma came out and now we kind of have a, hopefully a full view of how everything works from a currency perspective. So we're going to talk about how to properly spend your diamonds. That's right, this is going to be dedicated to a lot of free-to-play players as well as some dolphins. Whales, you do what you want to do. You know how to handle it. So, uh, But I, I want to speak to everybody in terms of what I found the most useful way to do it, especially after not spending for two, two and a half weeks now. Uh, I've been using my diamonds how I feel best appropriate on my free-to-play account as well as here. But this is going to be uh, broken down into two things, okay? How to use it early game and then how to use it mid game and how to use it late game. So let's talk about early game. All right, so the first thing guys I want to note is you're going to get a ton of diamonds. This game is very, very generous with the amount of diamonds they actually give. And the currency is going to be used throughout the game for various purposes, all right? So let's talk about the most basic thing. When you first start the game, your main use of diamonds are going to be dedicated to draws, okay? So draws are going to be the best way to increase your account power and to get yourself duplicate accounts for food and units that you need to get up. So the most important thing you're going to do for the first little while is use your diamonds on these 10 times draws when you run out of arcade coins. This is very early on, guys. Keep that in mind, okay? So in order to maximize your actual account, this is where most of your diamonds will be dedicated to. And by early game, I'm talking about, let's just say, like, up to 15, 40, or six, stage 16, okay? Once you hit stage 16, you're going to be starting to use your diamonds elsewhere, all right? And the reason why that's going to change a little bit is you're going to start going into divination, all right? And you're going to use 5,000 diamonds to do a 10 times summon. So keep in mind, that is going to be the most effective way to get yourself master and infernal units, okay? Which are going to be like the bisons, etc. right? So very important to note that, uh, that you're going to get a lot of resources here as well too, and fragments for uh, things like your fighting souls, and also purple cards and blue cards where you can summon uh, just regular units anyway. So this, a lot of your diamonds will be dedicated to divination. Now, if you're going to be in a Kuma stand, and, or, or just in general, you want to collect a lot of limited cards, every day you're able to go into the shop and actually buy yourself 3,000 3, diamonds worth of these three cards. It is a bad value, okay? But it is the only way currently outside of events to get these cards. So if you're going to be saving up for a limited character that you want in the future, this might be the best way to do it. I'm assuming, and this is just an assumption, guys, that these cards will be usable for all special summon uh, units, not just Akuma. It won't be his dedicated one. Now, on the other hand, there is collab characters which have their own ones, but you can't buy those with diamonds, so that's a whole different story. But these, if you're looking to to, to collect over time, is, is going to be one of the only ways you can save up for a unit in the future. So keep that in mind, okay? That's going to be a very important one. <clears throat> all right, another thing you want to do. And this is specifically for... Uh, those people who are higher up in the bounties and only during 200%. So I'm going to quickly show you guys in the section right now for bounties, it is 200% uh, bonus time. This happens every, I believe, two weeks, uh, every, oh, sorry, every, every, uh, every third off week, and it lasts for, um, I believe, 10 days? Let's see, we'll take a look real quick at the events. What is it right now? Incredible rewards? Last, sorry, lasts for seven, so eight days. So for eight days, and this happens right after the Guardian one, you get yourself the Bounty one. This is an amazing time to use your diamonds to refresh. So if you can take a look here, normally these these uh, SSS ones will give 800. But right now, they're giving double that amount. So Brave Zone specifically, guys, is a vital piece of this game. One that you're going to be struggling with, especially free to play. So this is where you want to go ahead and use it. I would say refresh at S to SSS. If you're anything below that, really I wouldn't recommend because it's not worth the diamond value. But for doubling, like for example, this at 300 is 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 really good for 50, 50 gems, right? Because these normally would cost like 300 something gems for 500. So keep that in mind. The 50 is not bad. So what I would do is I would refresh for 50, and this doesn't go up at all, right, guys? And you would continue going for the highest value you can at 200% only. I would not recommend doing this any other time, especially free to play. You only want to take advantage of it at 200%. Even with money, 600k is not bad. This is, I mean, 1,000. We can go ahead and do that. Uh, why not? You know, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. Um, so refresh again. And you want to keep doing this till you get yourself the value you're looking for. But definitely don't do this, guys, until you are at the S to SSS level. So between those, you'll get the best bang 
for your buck kind of value, right? So that is a very important place to spend your diamonds. All right, another place you want to perhaps spend your diamonds is going to be the actual uh, shop. Now this is on you, okay? This is completely on you. I don't recommend spending it on gear, but this right here is sometimes worth it. If you're running low on money, sometimes you're gonna get this mound of cash for 64, sometimes even 40% off. Definitely, I would recommend purchasing this because the actual 24 hours value of a of, of money is worth more than 64 diamonds or whatever the lower amount is. So definitely pick that up, but I would not recommend getting gear or any of these cards. They're just not worth it. All right, moving on to the next one. Um, from the general shop here, like I said, avoid everything else that's not money related. Also, the reason why you want to get this, sorry, what I was going to explain is you can use that money afterwards to purchase some of these money related ones, which are worth quite a bit anyways, right? You definitely want to pick this up all the time too at 500, at 500 piece for that, that amount of money. And again, you can get that back just by purchasing this at a low diamond value. All right, for free to play and also for, for do, uh, dolphins, your quick battle here, your fast gains is worth it. For free to play, you want to do 50 max. I would say the like 50 gems max. You can push it a little more if you want just to get some more resources, but it's not recommended. Dolphins, you can push a little further just to see if you can get more resources plus gear that's factional uh, and any, uh, any tier tokens, right? So that might be worthwhile as well too. Now, as you're progressing through the game, <clears throat> you're going to unlock tier one and tier two tokens, which increase your gear up to plus one, plus two for SSS. Sorry, for SS. Um, so that you can find a lot in the the Shadowloo city, okay? And they're going to be in the second and third floor. So once you progress through this, guys, you're going to hit a, a shop, right? A city shop, not here, sorry. Uh, which is going to say uh, Mart on it, or I believe it's Mart. You're going to get the option to purchase uh, usually gear, breakstones, uh, tier tier tokens, etc. That's a great way to spend your diamonds only during 200% week for Shadowloo City, okay? And that'll give you double the, the items that you're buying for the same amount of diamonds. So only time to spend that is during those times, all right? No, no other time. If you're going for tier tokens, for example, you can get yourself double the tier tokens for T1 and T2 based on your progression for the same amount of diamonds as you would normally. So do not please spend your diamonds willy-nilly on here because they're very expensive, but they're worth it during double week because if you get tier one and tier two for 1,700 diamonds, hey, you know what? You've now doubled your power for your gear on that unit and it's worthwhile because there's no other way to get it outside of uh, randomly buying it from the general shop or the guild shop, which is very, very expensive for a lot of you. So please be wary of how you spend your diamonds on that specifically. Uh, I believe that covers pretty much everything for diamonds, guys. I'm trying to think if there's anything else you could possibly use it, and nothing is coming to mind. Um, there, I mean, there are other other ways to use it, like increasing your dojo speed when you want to finish when you want to finish something. That's 100 uh, diamonds. Don't spend that. That's just a trap. Obviously, don't do that one. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else here. Like their limit breaks, you can cancel a limit break or, or buy a new limit break. Don't recommend that. Just wait it out. I mean, if you're desperate and it's early in the game and you want an extra slot, it's really cheap. It's not the worst thing in the world to do. Uh, so you can do it, but I don't recommend it, okay? So definitely don't spend too much diamonds on this. Let it just accumulate over time, okay? Another way to, to use diamonds is the fighting heart. If you want to reset anything, right? If you want to reset here, you can. It's 300 diamonds, which is not bad. Uh, again, that's if you're really desperate and you mess this up. I have a whole video on this, so you can go watch this and how to do it properly. But that's another option as well. Um, I'm trying to see what else we hear that we can talk about. Awakening. If you go to um, where is it? Re not returns. Not substitute. I think you have to go to the actual fighter. Uh, here we go. Let me go to a legendary fighter. So if you get, let's say, Fashion Blanca, and you want to remove someone from him. It does cost 100 energy to break the synergy, just so you guys are aware. If it's the, the bond you want to break, it's 300, okay? So that's another way to spend diamonds. Obviously not recommended, but if you have to because, you know, you, you need a character back, that's one other way to do it. These are all desperate moments, uh, desperate times kind of scenarios, right? But realistically, those are the best ways to spend your diamonds, guys. There's really nothing else here that I can think of that you would want to. Oh, unless you want to refresh your crusade for 50 diamonds to do more turns. Uh, which I'm actually going to do a boss uh, video on this one as well for you guys soon. But that's the best ways currently to spend your diamonds. So again, it, a lot for, for brand new players, summons until you hit 1540, then divination. Um, the general shop to buy the, the mound of cash. Or if you really desperately want the limited tickets and you're saving for someone, it's not a good value, but it's one of the only ways to get it outside of events. Um, 
the actual 200% at bounties is absolutely vital for your progression. So definitely do that one. And then waiting to have 200% for Shadowloo City to buy yourself tier tokens and uh, breakstones and other items in there that can help you progress further. So those are the best values, in my opinion, to use your diamonds. Everywhere else is pretty much not a necessity. It's just more of a perk, right? So keep that in mind. All right, guys, this is Payne. Hope the video helped you out. If there's anything that I missed, please let me know in the comment section. I would more than happy to add that into the description. Or if you guys have anything you think you should spend diamonds on that I might have not included, uh, I'm more than happy to debate that with you guys in the comment section as well. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.